Mitch Cook has sent that one into the zone. Got, trying to get Talberg to chase. Mitch Cook playing up on the second line this evening um, with the absence of JD Dudek. That's chipped through. That's Trevor Cox. He's going through. He's, he chips it over. Norris and a shot. Just managed to get a glove save there. Ryan Barrow is uh, is launching onto that chance, but he doesn't quite get the uh, the final touch to get past Cozen. It's a two on three opportunity, but with speed, Blaze come round. They've got a shot round, wrap around on the net. Nearly Mitch Cook on there from Alessio Luciani. Cook can't quite get a stick on it, and the uh, the the snake bite of Mitch Cook seems to continue. And now Hopkins. He uh, loses putt, turns it over, and now the Devils will break three on three, although they are looking for a bit of a change. Big hit there, coming down the boards. The Blaze fans like that here in the Sky Dome. Hopkins manages to ride that first hit, and it still keeps the puck. Nice bit of persistence from the young forward here. Batch behind the net. He is His route back to Mark Richardson was initially cut off, but then... He goes back to find it, but then Blaze picked that stick up. But Luciani wins it back to Norris. He shoots tip in front from Mitch Cook. Saved by Tyler Wall. A big hit there from Alessio Luciani. And the, and the game is amping up in physicality. Blaze turn and go again. It's Christo. He passes it to McNulty. He's got Roth in the middle. Back to Christo, who's dropped off. Shot. And again, a little bit of traffic, but I think Tyler Wall had a pretty good sight of that one. Absolutely, but it's nice to see the Blaze taking their time. You can see Christo takes the time to really settle it on his stick. The play comes through here. He takes the time when it's crossed across to him. I'll balance it, I'll get my shoulder behind it, and rather have a good quality shot, slightly slower than a quick wrister shot that's a bit less controlled and less fast. Trevor Cox will, get, will try and chase it in, but he's lost an edge and now is back, and the Blaze might have numbers coming forward. They've got it. They had Kim Talberg fire on the right-hand side to try and make it. Luciani gets it on his stick, but he can't control it. Brady Norris is there as well, back. Luciani looks for James Shearer, but that pass don't connect, and Blaze go back into their own zone. 1.44 left here in the first period in Coventry. The score remains nil-nil. Riley Brandt and uh, Tyler Kirkup come together, and Brandt comes out with it. He sends it in for, for Duggan and Davis to chase, but the, the Devils can't win the puck, but they can pin the blaze up, and they do eventually come away with it. Josh Batch now shoots it in, gets a big hit um, of Riley Brandt. Not sure that was the intended target, but he got it full in the back. And it's shot, and it scores! Cardiff Devils finally make their pressure pay here in the first period as they get the first goal hit coming forward. And we'll get another look at it here, Paul. And you see they're coming across, apart from trying to put it through Riley Brandt. The Blaze are playing very deep on D. There's three D-men very low in. It doesn't help with the screening, and it's a very quick, clean shot that just beats Cozen. Nathan Ripley's dropped back to cover Clements. A nice play from the young forward, making sure the defence is, is all covered at all times. Now the uh, Devils try and break, but that's de um, deflected on the blue line, and now Spellacy gets it to Kirk up. Now Spellacy shoots a straight shot and a save from Tyler Wall. Nice glove save, but from that distance with no screen, uh, you'd expect the goalie to make the save there. Yeah, absolutely, every day of the week. I mean, it'd be lovely if it went in. Spellacy is really starting to find his feet now, and though his unfortunate his invite to the Columbus Blue Jackets camp was hampered by his knee injury, he seems to be getting over his jet lag, getting his strength back a bit. He's coming on, he's, he seems a bit more sparky every game. Seems very odd to see Trevor Cox without Cole Sanford on the ice. Um, the two of them have a long-term partnership. Now Cox has it, he goes back, it's shot, save. Joey Martin comes once, twice, that puck comes out in front of Taron Cozen, but he is, doesn't find the uh, the Cardiff Devils stick um, and uh, goes for icing. Martin collects it, he takes his time, waits to get challenged. Plays a little bit out of shape here on that backside, and then a shot comes in, Josh Waller. Takes advantage of the space left behind James Shearer on the left side of defence. Gets a good shot that goes high on the blocker side of Taron Cozen to make it 2-0 to the Cardiff Devils. You can see here the passes are on a string. They're pinging around absolutely everywhere. Goes to the back door, unmarked. And it's the first gap we give and it's they straight away in the back of the net. Barrow to Martin. 
Back to Crawford, crosses to Mosey. Mosey looks, twin spins around, but he's got nothing doing there. So Christo now, he's got it. He's got Kobe Roth on the left-hand side. If he can find it, he tries to drag it back, but can't free it up. Nick Nolte uh, takes a bit of a slip and a tumble, loses his edge. Blaze Bench not happy. They feel McNulty was had his edge taken away from him. And there goes a tap back to Barrow. Oh, that's an excellent save by David Clements. <laughs> <laughs> Stick gets it, lifts it off the line. Whether it was going on or not, I don't know. But it, Clements there definitely should be credited with one save this evening. Fantastic work from the defenceman. <laughs> Devils win that puck. Comes back round. Davis gets a hit, but and manages to get the puck in the offensive zone. Rock Brandt is chasing. Mosey gets a shot, but it gets uh, deflected off the blaze, but blaze can't clear. Comes again now, this time Duggan manages to get that pass, comes around through onto Davis on the back door, but he fans on the shot. Would have surely been a goal had that made a, made a connection. McNulty pauses, he's got Roth, and now the blaze potentially got two on one. Roth has it, he pauses, looks again, looks for the shot. <coughs> gets a big deflection. Marcus Crawford there. Uh, throwing pretty much everything he had in front of that shot. Cardiff win the puck when they come forward. Riley Brandt comes back now across to Marcus Crawford. He shoots, that's deflected and a big tip. And somehow that has made its way through very slowly. Creeps underneath Taron Cozen to make it Cardiff 3, Coventry 0. And we'll get another look on the replay here to try and work out exactly how this manages to work its way through. We, we talk a lot about puck luck to an extent. There's a tip yeah. from right at the net there by Davis. And it just squeaks it through as Cozen's moving across. It's uh, one of the most indecisive goals that you'll see. The red light went on, then went off again. But it just sort of hits the wrong place at the wrong time. I don't think he meant that in a million years, but they're all in and they all count. Spellacy there, um, checking in now. That's uh, Nathan Ripley chasing that puck into the corner, getting that bump, nearly freeing it up. Almost ended up with Carter Allen, but instead Brandon Alderson was able to, to pull that puck out of the way and, and make something of it. Now Ripley makes the move, gets a shot. That's a good save from Wall. Again, again puck comes in front. Spellacy's got it. It's loose again from Ripley, and it's scored. Nathan Ripley continues his Challenge Cup success and gets the Blaze on the board with eight minutes and 32 seconds left to play in this third period. Absolutely what the Blaze needed there. You'll see they're putting the pressure on Wall. It's close into him. He missed the chance to freeze it. It bubbles out to Ripley, who we know is a spark, who we know will push things forward. And he takes his opportunity and lashes it home. Devils pressurising. They're also looking for a change as well. That gives uh, Tyler Kirk up a chance to uh, get that puck on the on the boards and now Hopkins. Good bit of play there from Jack Hopkins. Pauses on the boards and just holds, realising that a little bit of a broken play, a few lines needing to be changed. So holds it, sends it out and allows the, the Blaze to get a fresh set out. Absolutely, and, and with how slick Cardiff have been of getting their right line out at the right time, having the maturity to do that is really useful. Spellacy has a shot and it's a goal! Spellacy gets the second for the Coventry Blaze and it's now just a one goal game, turns it over in front of the Devils goal and he gets his first goal for the Coventry Blaze. That's got to be a, a massive pressure relief there for Spellacy. The play comes out, he picks off the pass, makes it himself, goes top corner, lovely shot, excellent reflexes to get the interception in the first place and now it is a one goal game with six yeah. minutes 19 to play. Time is running away from the Coventry Blaze. They aren't managed to secure possession of the puck. They haven't really had an opportunity to get Taron Cozen out of net and secure a, an extra man on the ice. But now, potentially, David Clements has that puck. Taron Cozen is coming. He, he's looking. He's looking now. Taron Cozen is gone. That, that net is empty. But the Cardiff Devils have turned that puck over. They're going to come up. They've got that extra man. They've got the skater. They're going to look to take that shot. That comes across, and it's in for the Cardiff Devils. The empty net goal pretty much straight away. Joey Martin. Martin gets the goal, a little bit of uh, pushing and shoving afterwards, but Cardiff Devils get the fourth. Joe Martin potentially sealing it for the Cardiff Devils. Puck comes across, they do their best.